So total coincidence, but look to what's right next to us at the car wash. The carbon fiber earth armor series makes our camper look tiny. State Park and it's really pretty. There was a sign for a campground, so we're gonna check it out. We are on an investigative mission. I know you guys keep asking what we're gonna do to the truck for the suspension and tires. Trust me, we are thinking about it, especially when we are driving on roads like this at eight miles an hour. I think the GoPro smooths out the footage though, and you guys probably don't know how bumpy this is. Here, I'll check the camera. If you're on a really bumpy dirt road, I would recommend um, fixing your toilet paper roll before you drive or it will unroll itself all over the bathroom. <laughs> I am using the induction cooktop to heat up some leftover chili and then I'm also making some mac and cheese over here in the instant pot and our electrical system is pretty cool because we we're able to run both of these at the same time no problemo. Right now we are pulling 110 amps from our battery system. Electric cooking, no problem in our camper. Riley because he's up on the roof. What you doing up here? <laughs> so we had a little leak going on and uh, I decided to do our due diligence and go ahead and just put another coat of RV sealant on every single seam and this time I uh, was not shy about it. So I'm not gonna show you because it's really ugly but it's the roof and it doesn't matter. I'd rather have ugly than leaks so now we should be all sealed up. We are headed to the Dinosaur National Monument. We're going to be passing right through it and we have a day to kill before we want to get to Steamboat, so we're going to go check it out. We're going to Jurassic Park. Okay. I'd call this one a win. If you're ever considering a cross-country road trip where you're <laughs> camping, you should go in February. Freeze your butt off and do it in the winter because we are the only people here. <laughs> the entire campground to ourselves. We got the primo spot. It is so cool. This is insane. <laughs> oh, it's not a selfie, it's a video. It's a video. Mm. We have a mystery. What are these footprints? Dinosaurs! Check it out. There are lots and lots of tracks running through here. They are not people tracks. We do most of our cooking with the Instant Pot uh, because it's just a really energy efficient way to cook when we're running on batteries. Today we're gonna make a cheeseburger casserole in there. I don't think I should start a cooking channel because I forgot to even put all the steps. But basically there's ground beef, mushrooms, canned tomatoes, tomato sauce in there, and then we're gonna add some pasta and have dinner. And bacon. Can't have, it can't be a cheeseburger without bacon. I, I had the Instant Pot on vent mode and uh, I wanted to open it, so I deactivated the safety of a device and opened the instant God, pot. It looks like you looks like you're And now murdered. I'm holding the lid on because <laughs> the thing exploded. It 
looks like you murdered the chili monster. <laughs> Riley. Oh my god. It's everywhere. <laughs> are the noodles cooked at least? Yes. The noodles are cooked. Well, I might not be qualified to run a cooking show or operate an instant pot. But it's still pretty good. Bomb.com. Kind of like the instant pot. <laughs> I got a mess still. We're gonna go see if we can find some dinosaurs. We don't hike. I usually get bored. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. I guess Courtney's going on a solo hike because I turned around and she was just walking away without me. Is this where you're sleeping tonight? Yeah, we definitely could have slept here last night. What are you supposed to do when you see a really big kitty hiking, just in case? Act scared and injured. That's what he'll do. I'm gonna run. Either trail. <laughs> Courtney got us lost. No. I heard something. <laughs> you didn't hear that? So I climbed up on this rock. I'm gonna show you the view. It's pretty awesome. Courtney is down there somewhere. She's leaving me behind. <laughs> I, I, I slid down instead of came down. Courtney's less amused. I have a lot of snow in my butt crack. What you got? I was figuring out what it was. <laughs> We're having some snacks on the trail out of our backcountry box. We are having a peanut apricot meal to go. <laughs> I don't think apricot peanut butter is a combo I would have normally. It's pretty good. Wow, it was pretty good. I was all crunchy and chewy. We found the deer highway. I like to use the app Gaia when we're traveling. You can download maps for offline or if you have cell service, it's always updating. They actually have a layer for national parks. So I have a satellite layer and the national parks layer. We try to get a cool shot of Courtney walking away. Then you have to run and catch back up because she doesn't wait for you. No, in case you were wondering. Did the snowball? It just falls apart. We could have made the trail a loop, but it was longer than either of us wanted to hike in the slushy snow. Back on the road we go. on the road, headed back to the camper. I'm sure the dogs are gonna be very upset at us for leaving them behind, but dogs weren't allowed, so. Even the road's pretty though. Oh yeah, everything here's pretty. And we're still the only ones here. Oh. <laughs> no instant pots were harmed in the making of this meal. <laughs>
Our current drinking water setup hasn't been ideal. We just, in this back cabinet, have a bunch of jugs of water, and it's not awesome. So, we're gonna work on, we're gonna work on fixing that today. So we have a 42 gallon freshwater tank on board, but a lot of the municipal water systems use chlorine and it makes it just taste awful. Four stage uh, freshwater filter up in here into the cold tap of our kitchen sink. So all of the cold water that floats our kitchen sink will be filtered. It comes with these adapters that will just let it hook straight up to our angle stop valve here. Hopefully this very munched bit I have will work. All right, and now we're gonna turn the water on and see if we have any leaks. No leaks? I see no leaks. All right, should we go try out the water? Let's give it the taste test. I'm kind of a water snob, so. It tastes like nothing. Really? Yeah. Sweet. That literally tastes like nothing. The water tasted horrible before. It tasted like chlorine and pipe glue. <laughs> so, cheers to no longer having jugs of water in the camper. I'm cleaning. <laughs> Life on the road involves a lot of cleaning and putting stuff away all the time. Something I'm not always the best at.